So in this video, we'll be doing waypoints with a point of interest. Now, hopefully you've watched my first video. I call it Waypoints Basic. I just showed you the basics of really. I don't want to make it too difficult as well, because I think it's all about experimenting with uh, the modes. And obviously the waypoints is a big favorite of everybody. And I think everybody was glad that they put it on the four. It's a pity they haven't put it on the three pro, but hey ho, it's on the for I think mainly it's because now it's got all round avoidance uh, and I think that's probably one of the reasons because obviously the bigger drones like the Air 3 they've got all round avoidance and that's why they got waypoints on there. Waypoints, has it got a purpose? I think it has, especially for people like me that like to do um, demos, I can set up a waypoint mission and show you like how the filters look um, and, and other things as well. So. Obviously, with all things, you need to get a drone up in the air. But, but before I say that, you can do it actually on the RC2. Now, some people said you can do it all on there, but I think, to me, it's pretty limited. And I do like the way DJI run it. Obviously, like with the Litchi and Mavin, yeah, you, especially with the Litchi, you can get, do so much at home. And obviously, the waypoints on the DJI drone will not cover all those things. But what I will say, with the Litchi and the Mavin app is what I have noticed when it's on a waypoint mission, it does seem to be a little bit jittery. Whereas I noticed with the uh, 4 Pro on its waypoints mission, so far I haven't noticed, it's a nice smooth run. So something to think about, if you're thinking about getting, if you're getting the, uh, the Mini 2, obviously you can do waypoints on that with the Litchi and Mavin app. But I've done loads of waypoint missions using the Litchi and the Mavin, and I found on both of them, it's never been always a smooth run. So something to think about. Anyway, as I just said, let's get this drone up in the air first, uh, and we go through it. So just before we take the drone off, I just want to just check a couple of things first. It's always best to check settings. So the top right hand corner, three dots. And we just make sure that the obstacle avoidance is on brake. Now, you could put it on bypass, but I prefer to have it on brake on this. Um, so that's good. Everything else, the settings, yeah. The height, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's just one of the things you've got to check, guys, before you do any flying as well. It's always best to check the settings. So this ought to take off. Let's get the drone in the air first. I got 94% battery. Okay, let's send the drone up, out over there. Right. So above the auto takeoff, you've got the, the Wrigley Snake. So if you press that, that's the waypoint icon. You just press that. It's gonna come up straight away. Sometimes it doesn't always come up with the uh, what you can see there, but it is there. Uh, you just mess about the arrow at the side. So I'm not, you can use your buttons on the back as well. I'm going to use the, the plus sign on this screen. I'm quite happy with that location there. I'm going to add my first waypoint there. I'm going to fly the drone forward, but while I'm flying it forward, I'm going to bring the drone over slightly. There's a guy with a canoe there. Right, I'm just going to stop it here. I'm going to add waypoint there. I'm going to turn the drone slightly in a bit. OK, I'm going to press the point of interest now. Now, I was open. You can't do that. So I'm going to add my first point of interest there. I'm going to bring it back to waypoint. I'm then going to fly backwards from that. And fly up. And stop it there. 
I'm then going to turn the drone in this direction. I'm then going to move the gimbal up a bit. I'm then going to fly towards that tower. Stop it there. I'm then going to bring uh, the drone around and bring it back towards me. That's the plan. Okay. I'm just going to move that gimbal down a bit. I'm still not... Yeah. Do that there. Fly it back. Okay, so that, that's my last waypoint. So what we want to do first, the number one, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do. You can mess about. Now, you can see at the bottom there, you've got none, take a photograph. We could, if you wanted to, we could mess about the speed. I'm quite happy with the speed. I'm going to say start recording. And then you, you, where the little arrow is on the left, you just come out of that. Where number six is, we scroll again on the bottom and we can stop recording. I'm happy with that. Now, if you wanted to do the speed, you can press on the speed. You go to settings. Okay, we got. I'm gonna once this flight's finished, is um, I'm gonna have it on return to home. I just want to go back. Press those dots. All right, we've got the speed there. So I want to increase that speed to probably about that's about enough okay so I, I've done the waypoint I've got the video coming on I've got the video ending if I when it's finished it's going to be return to home everything is done now you just press go and what it's going to do is it's going to set itself up it's going to fly the mission and everything that you've done on there because you've recorded it it's going to sort all that out do it all for you in the flight you don't have to mess about with it this is what this is what it's about. You don't want to mess. Once it's you set that course, you just leave it. You just let it get on with it. Right. So it's just um, setting itself up on its height. Okay. So that's good. As soon as you hear that video go, that's it's starting its it's already done its waypoint one mission. So now it's turning onto that. Uh, church now is point of interest let's see if that's doing it correctly so yeah it's coming back to that church now and also going back I like that and now it's going up towards the tower now um, and we just see how that reacts to that now with all these sort of things you're never going to get it perfect the first time. You, and you probably end up doing this two or three times until you get it to where you like it. Now, don't worry too much about the saving part. I'll show you that at the end, how you do that as well. Just let it fly its course. So it's coming back towards me now. And if you notice, it's, um, right, so, so it, it's finished its mission. So it's going to come back now. I'll let it, I'll wait until the drone actually lands. 
Um, so you don't want to mess about. You don't, you don't, even though the Waypoints logo is highlighted at the moment, it's yellow. Don't touch that. Just leave it as it is for the moment. I always think it's best to get the drone back in and then I'll go in to how you save it, how you name it. So the drone's coming in now. It's a little bit off this time. Unless it's gonna unless it's gonna restructure itself. Yep, yeah, there it is. It's it's looking for this position. Okay, it's come off a little bit there. I'm gonna just bring it over to the mat. Let's bring that down a bit. Okay. Okay, so it's a bit off today. Right, so that's been done. <clears throat> now what you wanna do now is you press the waypoint icon. It's gonna ask you to save it and exit. So you say, yes, save, exit. Or you can exit without saving. If you're, if you're happy with that waypoint, well, I'm gonna save it. So it's been saved now and you've come out of waypoints. But if you go back into the waypoint icon again, now sometimes you, you gotta get this that will come up. If you just press that little arrow and you go over to the left, looks like a piece of paper, that's the history that's where your information is now on there we've just flown today which is the top one and if you want to we can press that to put on i'll put on their um beach let's put beach um and if you notice i can beach and you've got the date as well, if you notice date and time, which is good. So you tick the bottom bit, so that's done. Now, if you wanted, if say you wasn't happy with it, and I've got one at the bottom there, all you do is you just scroll it to the left, and you've got the exit, so you just do that. It says delete. And that's it. That's all you got to do, guys. Simple as that. And you, to come out of it, you just, the top, top left, you just press on the arrow there. You press on the waypoint icon again. That takes you out. That's it. So, hope you enjoyed that, as always. If you've got any comments, uh, you know, that you want to know any more about the waypoints, just ask me. I'm quite happy to make more videos on the waypoints, but that just gives you an idea of setting up the waypoints and the point of interest. And yeah, and obviously removing um, waypoints that you don't like. So, as always, enjoy flying, and I'll catch you on another video very soon. Mm -hmm.